first reason your 808s don't slap is because you're using distortion. Now let me explain. A lot of distortion plugins will take all the frequency in the low end and redistribute it to the mid range and the high frequencies. Now this is cool because you get a nice crunch, but you lose all that so which freaking blows, man. Let me show you what I mean. When comparing the two, you can see that the level of the sub is way lower than the original 808. It's like the sub took a vacation, but it's okay. There are three solutions to this problem. The first solution is to use your distortion in parallel. This is useful because you're not affecting the original 808 at all, just mixing the distorted signal. The second solution is just to take an EQ and boost the living shit out of the lows. The last solution is to use a really high quality distortion plugin like Decapitator, because it doesn't have this effect of taking out the lows. The second reason your 808 isn't slapping is because the 808 is out of phase with the kick. Listen to this. It's just like a floppy mess. This happens because a lot of 808s have an initial punch that's very similar to the kick. And when you have two waveforms that are almost identical, they cancel out and sound really weak. A way you can check this is by soloing the 808 or kick by itself and seeing if it raises in volume a lot compared to them together, just like this. You can just tell how it's a lot more punchy without that other kick. This is why you wanna choose a kick that complements the 808. Before, after. But if you're really stubborn and really like the kick that you have, manually fade the beginning of the 808 and fade the kick to where they each have their own space. The third reason your 808s don't slap is because other things are interfering with it. Think of your low end like a room. If you're a hoarder and have a hundred things in your room, nothing is gonna stand out. But if you only have one thing in your room, it's gonna look huge, beautiful, and just So what you do is just take you a little EQ, cut out some of the low end, maybe to like 80, 100, on every channel but your 808 even the hi-hat. Guaranteed difference. Another reason your 808 isn't slapping is because it's too subby. What you need is this. To get this effect, you want to use a combination of clipping, EQ, distortion, or a mixture of all the above. If you're in FL Studio, the Fruity Clipper or the Fast Distortion is good. If you're in Ableton, Saturator or Overdrive. Also, Free Clip is a pretty good plugin and it only costs zero dollars. All of these are meant to add harmonics to your 808, which is also really going to help it stand out on laptop and phone speakers. You might also be starting with bad 808 samples, like this. What you have to come to the realization is, is that every 808 cannot be saved. You need to move on. I know it's hard, but you gotta do it. It's gonna help so much if you just start with good sounds. By the way, if you're looking for some dope 808s, link in the bio, you know the deal. If you're looking for 808s that are hot now, a good place to go is just the Drum Kits Reddit forum. Another thing to consider is that the 808 you're choosing may not fit the beat that you're making. If you have a really low mid pad sound, which has an EQ curve like this, and you pick an 808 that is really distorted and has a lot of low mid range frequencies, they're really gonna clash and everything is gonna sound really muddy. Now, if you're really stubborn and you really like the 808, what you can do is just EQ out a lot of these lows like we were saying, but I think something better to consider is either changing the sound or raising it up an octave. As you can see, once you do this, they just each have their own space and just hit way harder. The last reason and a really important one that your 808 isn't slapping is because you didn't shape it at all. So many producers just take an 808 and drag it in and then just doom, 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 and then think that it's okay. It's not okay. What you need to do is change the length of the 808. Listen to this. See, now that's cool, but listen to this. I might be tripping, but to me, that sounds way harder. And all I did was change the length of the 808. You wanna do that in a sampling plugin, you would change the decay and the sustain of the 808. Or you could just change it to a one shot and use the little fade out button. Or in FL Studio, I think it's just a little out thing. Don't quote me on that. Or if you're one of those weirdos who likes to use audio, just take the 808, make it shorter, and then kind of fade it to whatever sounds good to your ear. And that, my friends, is how you make your 808 slap. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.